What's up, Trending All Day fam? It's your girl, Haley Delane, and we are back for another episode of The Vibes. And today I have a very special guest, maybe my favorite girl with pink hair, but definitely one of my favorite voices on the internet. Everyone, please meet Andy Case. Hi. Thanks for coming and sitting down with me. Yeah, it's of course. so good to see you. We so good to see you, too. in Florida, you've mm -hmm. been in Seattle, you're everywhere. I know, we're at Playlist, VidCon, <laughs> right? all over the place. I love it, you're doing yeah. the tour. So talk to me, we are here to talk about your newest single and video yes. coming out. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about it. All right, well, my new single it is called bubblegum and cigarettes and it is basically all about having a crush on a fuck boy bad boy whatever somebody you know is not gonna be good for you but you're kind of like explaining like the good sides and the bad sides that they have that's the bubblegum and cigarettes it's like the opposite it's like the sweet side and like kind of like not the sweet side so um, yeah that's what it's all about and it's kind of like this fun take on it it's really positive and just fun and the video is crazy and ridiculous I had all my like best girlfriends come in and just we just partied oh, and awesome. it was ridiculous it was awesome hey okay, gotta do it right <laughs> so is it based off a true story I mean I feel like it's kind of based off of like a big group of bad boys slash yeah. fuck boys that I had crushes on that yeah. I knew that just like weren't gonna end well but it was just kind of like a fun take on it like you know it's not gonna end well but uh, you just enjoy it while it lasts, you know? Sometimes, that, sometimes that's there for the right reasons. Right, exactly. <laughs> so. Now, did you dye the hair to match the song? I did. Yep. I did. It was like, I've never dyed my whole head a yeah. crazy color. And I was like, I just want to look like Princess Bubblegum for when Bubblegum and Cigarettes comes out. So It all makes sense. And um, who would you say that your music is most inspired by? Like another artist or kind of vibe? Mm, I'm such a huge fan of Demi Lovato. Like yeah. she's always been somebody that I've looked up to. Kelly Clarkson, Christina Aguilera, Jessie J, like all of them, like the vocalists, the strong females, you know, with the big voices are ones that I've always looked up to. And I love Demi Lovato because she's always pushing the envelope, always talking about how she feels. She's just like a real person and I definitely like vibe with her. Speaking of, and last time we chatted, we chatted a little bit about this, but you actually came out as bisexual. I did. Um, and you've been so brave to share your own story and I'm sure it's helping so many people across the internet. How does that play a role in your music? Do you talk about that more now? I do, I mean, it's been amazing. I feel like it's been this whole new like um, connection with my fans and people DMing me and, and we were able to get so personal, I feel like, and just letting everybody know that like they can be themselves and that's why the single is called Be Myself because it's, it is hard nowadays to just do your thing and just like be yourself with all the pressures and there's all these templates and stuff online or all these pressures where you're like supposed to be this thing and it's just like, it's too much. So it's cool um, to just like, be able to just like let it all out. So talk to me a little bit about, you are a full blown influencer, but you are also like a real musician. And I feel like in our world of the influencer space, sometimes you get these people that like, are like I sing, which is great and we all support it, but it's not like a true artistry. Um, how have you been able to combine your art and your influencer side? Um, I feel like it's funny because I talk about this a lot. Like that's kind of what I was focusing on was just, um, releasing music and kind of building a fan base and then releasing original music as it's going because that's all I've ever wanted to do is release original music and put my feelings out there. So it's been interesting to see it grow and like I feel like it's just kind of been like this journey where I just started by like putting myself out there and I've just kind of wanted to stay true to that and my fans have seen me you know through the different hair colors and the changes the different styles like they've all been super awesome to be supportive and I think that's just part of a person's journey and we live in such a social media world where it's just kind of the norm to put yourself out there so I feel like I kind of came in like where I looked up to a lot of traditional artists and the way that they did things but then I could see like social media changing and people putting their feelings and stuff out there so I've always just tried to you know however I'm feeling just kind of put that on social media and it's kind of hard sometimes getting the feedback because I never you know everyone always has an opinion like right. that's the thing that kind of is hard good bad different so it's been um, it's been interesting trying to balance like being a real artist, but then like you know putting out music and letting them know that I can sing and do things like that. But um, you know I've just tried to stay true to myself. Yeah. It's been weird. That's, it's a journey. Yeah, but you I know? think you're doing it the right way, and I think you hit the nail on the head in saying just staying true to yourself. You know, Thanks. I think that's, yeah. that's what you got to do. Um, what do you want people to take away from this record um, and this video? Um, I just want everybody to have fun and enjoy it, and kind of take like. A weird situation but have fun with it you know it's just one of those things that everybody kind of goes through I feel like maybe I just go through where you get crushes on people or you kind of get in situations where like ah this probably isn't gonna end the best yep. but it's gonna be fun in the moment so you're just kind of like I don't know life is like 
so fucking serious and kind of sad sometimes. So it's cool to just take like the positive from situations and just like enjoy it and have fun. And what's next for you? So after the single, what do you have any uh, upcoming plans? I'm um, getting ready for tour in uh, next spring. Kind of planning around that. New, more live shows, more music, new singles and stuff like that. You know, more covers, more collabs. Um, well, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Yeah, I thank am you. So excited for everyone to go check out the new song and video. Um, excited. If you guys haven't already, we will be sure to link right below in our YouTube description. So be sure to go check that out. Show her some love. And if you guys don't already, go follow Andy. Andy, where can they follow you? They can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, everything is just handle Andy Case. Awesome. Well, go follow her, you guys. That is a wrap from us here today at the Trending All Day House. I'm your girl Haley Delang. This is Andy Case, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.